again welcome to another teddy bear the miniature horse update this is my weekly vlog my name is nancy and today i want to show you our special uv fly mask that came in and i'm going to be trying it on teddy bear for the first time he's never had a fly mask on his head before so this ought to be very interesting but um if you go back to i guess maybe three or four or five videos on my channel i made a video about why and how I protect my horse's eyes from the sun. Um, it's a very good video to watch. If you have not seen it, I'll leave the link below and <clears throat> excuse me, I'll leave my the link in the description below. And I think it would be very helpful for you to watch that and you'll understand better why I'm so particular about protecting my horse's eyes from the sun. And before I do that, I wanted to show you a close-up of Teddy's neck so you'll understand what was going on here. If you look at his neck right there, let's see if I can get it better. Right there, you will see his hair is all shaved. That was because he was gelded last week and they shaved his neck to give medications and whatnot. But that's what that is. And also, I do want to mention that I bring my horses out occasionally just to graze with me. I never stake my horses out. I have teddy bear on a lead line and I am holding it or occasionally I will drop it if he seems to be getting a little bit tangled in it. I like my horses to be used to having um, lines and things around their legs and feet so they don't panic, but he is not staked out. That's very dangerous. I would never stake my horses out. I am with my horses when I'm doing this, except for Salem, I will leave Salem, my other mini. He's so used to this that when I'm working in the area, I leave him with a halter and a short lead and he just roams around with me, but I would never tie him to anything that way. Anyway, I'm going to pause this and I will show you what the UV mask look like that I purchased. Okay, this is the fly mask that I'm using. It's an Equivisor Australia. And here is a close-up of Teddy's mask. I'm trying to hold it so you can see how there's like little holes and netting. That is the front. And this is a good look at the sides and a good look at the other side. And this is what the inside looks like. It has a UV protection, of course, of 95%. And this part here almost is like a visor. And it's important to get where the darts are right right over where their eyes are. So if you think of a baseball cap, it wants to be almost like a visor of a baseball cap. And I am finding it, now I just adjusted it, but what they tell you to do in the instructions is to cut off this excess strap. So I still have to trim this, so it will look a little bit funny. But I think the easiest thing to do is, and these are, these are quick release um, snaps on this. They release very easily. Um, I'm going to attach the top part. This part goes behind his ears. I'm gonna bring it up behind him. Put that, set that behind his ears. Teddy, stop, stop, stop chewing. Stop, stop. Still likes to chew on everything. Okay, that goes behind his ears. I pull his forelock out. And that is the part behind his ears. And then this other strap is going to come underneath his throat. Not too tight though. You have to make sure you're not doing it too tight. Just like when you put on a halter or something. And then of course, there's a Velcro right here that goes up it's very hard for me to do this from this side because i can't see but this goes up this side like that and so that's pretty snug on him and he doesn't seem to mind this at all he hasn't uh doesn't seem to care and i'm just making sure they say to make sure that they can eat okay so that it's not too tight underneath of their throat and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim this excess off and also trim this excess off and I have two of them for him. So that way I can clean one while he's wearing the other one. You just hose it off with some cold water. And this will protect his eyes from the UV rays and also from the flies, of course. Now, normally, if I'm going to put this on him, 
in the pasture, I would not have his halter on. I was just trying this over top of his halter. So to put this on in the paddock area, I would probably just put a loose rope around his neck and then I would put it on because <clears throat> ideally I don't want this halter on him. I don't leave halters on my horses when I'm not here. But the fly mask and also the fly mask, I will only use in the brightest part of the day, probably from maybe 9, 10 in the morning till 3, 4 in the afternoon in the summer. And if it's exceptionally windy, I might put it on my horses to protect them from the dust and the flies and the dirt and whatnot. But he doesn't seem to mind this at all. So I'm very pleased with it. And this is what the UV fly mask looks like without the halter underneath. And this, of course, is the way Teddy and my other horses will wear it most of the time during the brightest hours of the sunlight. Or if it's an exceptionally windy day and there's a lot of dust and whatnot flying around in the air. But this fits him very, very, very well. But I thought I'd let you see what it looks like without the halter underneath. This is what Stormy looks like in her mask. Fits perfectly. Well, it seems like Teddy likes this fly mask just fine. It fits him very well. I'm very surprised at how well it fits him. It's very snug and it comes right at the right spots on his face. And uh, he doesn't mind it at all. I'm really, really pleased with it and surprised. We will see how well it goes, how he'll if he'll be able to get it off when I'm not here with him. And again, I will not be putting the fly mask on him with his halter on underneath. I just have it this way because I've got him out with me right now. But if you have any questions about this fly mask, please leave a comment. I'm also going to, again, I will leave a link as to where you can purchase one. And uh, I will see you next week in another update. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful weather today. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful out today. And I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week in another update. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet so you can follow my journey raising this little guy. And I hope you have a great week. Bye bye for now.